Back on the record with House Chair Aaron Michaelowitz. All right, so there has been some disconnect between the House and the Senate over gun reform. The House has passed uh, its version of what it would like to see uh, on gun reform. Do you think this will get done by the end of session? Yeah, I feel confident that we'll get something done. I think the Senate has, uh, has, has uh, announced that they're going to move on something relatively uh, shortly. Uh, it'll give us enough time, you know, through the re re remainder of the legislative session to kind of iron out whatever differences we have. I think we both see it as priorities. Uh, the House obviously has led on gun reform, uh, you know, multiple times over the over the years, uh, you know, in terms of the space, and I think we need to continue to do so. The New Hampshire primary is Tuesday. Massachusetts Democrats are heading north of the border to help the Joe Biden campaign in New Hampshire. As you know, he's not on the ballot. You have to. You have to write the president's name in. Are, are you going to New Hampshire? Knock on doors, shake <laughs> Am hands. Am I going to New Hampshire? Yeah. Well, no one's called me. No one's called you. Okay. Are you going to New Hampshire? Well, I was just there. <laughs> yes. It's kind of cold, right? It, what do you mean, kind of? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, uh, you know, I, we got a lot of work to do over. You know, with the obviously with the budget conversations happening right now. So I don't think I'll be heading up so, to New Hampshire but, anytime but, soon. But, but but you have your eyes on what happens not only in here, but but in, you know, in New England, in the world. So what do you what do you make of the race up there? It, it's 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 essentially down to a Republican race of three really yeah I mean I think it's a uh, it's an interesting discussion I mean where where it's going and uh, obviously uh, up in up north the polls will tell you that it's a two-person race really right, between right, uh, yeah, Nikki yeah. Hilly and, uh, and Donald right, Trump and right. uh, you know I'm of the mindset that Donald Trump's gonna be the nominee I think anybody that that's hoping for anything else is just kind of wishing and hoping at this point in time I don't think it's a, a reality that it's not gonna be Joe Biden versus Donald Trump and and we'll have to we'll have to deal with that in November when we get to it all right. Uh, you are widely seen as the next Speaker of the House. Speaker Ron Mariano did not commit to serving a full term. Do you expect to become Speaker anytime soon? I'm enjoying my time tremendously of working <laughs> with, was coming. with right. the uh, with Speaker Mariano. Um, you know, he's a dear friend and a, and a mentor to me. And uh, in honor of Bill Belichick uh, leaving, <laughs> yeah. we're on to the budget. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember talking to Gerard Mayo with those very same conversations. You know, you are widely considered the heir apparent. He said, I really enjoy my job as as coach. But look what happened. He's now the head coach. I, I, I love every day what I get to do, uh, you know, as ways and means. It's been a, it's been an honor to do it. You know, it's something I never imagined I would ever get to, uh, you know, in my political career. And so I just enjoy every day getting to do that and working with the speaker. Uh, you know, he is, like I said, he's a dear friend and someone who, I, you know, I, I, I look truly as a mentor in, in what I've, in all the work that we've been doing over the years. And I just am enjoying my time while we're doing it now. You're allowed to enjoy your time and your job. That, yeah. is, that is allowed. You're supposed to. You're supposed <laughs> to. Our thanks again to Chair Michael Lewis for being in the chair with us this morning.